What's up YouTube? We're back with another TLDR. My name is Genghis and today we'll be taking a look at God Strike. Developed by Overpowered Team, God Strike is a boss battling, bullet hell, twin stick shooter available on the Nintendo Switch and PC. The story takes place on Eonor, a world created by a being of immense power. This being was split into several masks. This is where you come in. To prevent the destruction of Eonor, you wear one of the masks in order to stop the fighting between the other heralds. Now that's it for the story. Being a bullet hell, the game is more about difficulty of the game and constructing effective strategies for each boss. This game wastes no time showing its fangs. Each boss has a unique personality and theme which lends to the variance in each fight. This keeps the game fresh from stage to stage. We played the PC version and while the game recommends a controller, keyboard and mouse are just as intuitive, probably easier. The spin in this game however is that your health is linked to a timer. Getting hit decreases this timer and when the timer runs out, the next hit will kill you. Progression through the game grants you up to 4 active and 4 passive skills to help you in future fights. These active skills include giant lasers, rapid fire shots, orbiting swords, and more. Souls drop as you hit enemies and are required to use these skills. Passive skills include having orbs that soak up hits for you, a little buddy to fight alongside you, or having enemies drop more souls. Some skills have a balance to them. For example, one raises the damage you deal at the cost of slowing down your firing rate. This lends to the replay value as exploring strategies with different builds will change how fights are approached. The music is cinematic great quality. It tells a tale of a world on the brink of apocalypse. The epic tracks dwarf the upbeat tracks as we journey through the story. The sound effects though don't emphasize the hits to a satisfying degree. While we express the replay value in mixing and matching skills, there's also an arena mode. All skills are made available and boss fights are selectable in this mode. There is a ladder and leaderboard, but that's more of the same thing unless you enjoy pitting yourself against other players' times. This game is a slightly different take on the top-down side-scroll bullet hell genre. The game plays like Fury, but with extra skills and without the melee aspect. God Strike feels complete and there's a sense of satisfaction to beating it on story mode. The game felt a little short, but we can appreciate the lack of filler content for quality. Some of the skills felt like they were much better than others, making them auto-picks. The skills didn't progress quickly enough either. By the time we had unlocked everything, the story was almost over. We enjoyed this game thoroughly. It's a no-frills game if you want to jump in and shoot something big while dodging a barrage of bullets. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see and you want to see more, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.